You ever drop your phone and watch it fall in slow motion, like it's starring in its own tragic movie? Now imagine you are the phone, except instead of hitting the carpet, it's the entire planet Earth waiting to smack you in the face. But here's the crazy part. Someone actually did survive a free fall without a parachute. Yeah, no wingsuit, no lucky helicopter, no magic alien beam. Just gravity, courage, and a really big net. We'll get to that later. But first, let's find out if you, me, or literally anyone could survive jumping out of the sky without a parachute. The free fall problem. Okay, so you fall out of a plane. The good news, you've got about 60 seconds to pray before you hit the ground. The bad news, you're falling at roughly 120 miles per hour thanks to gravity being the world's worst Uber driver. At that speed, hitting anything solid is basically like being hugged by a truck. A really fast truck. Made of concrete. Now, people have actually survived insane falls. Because they were lucky. Also because physics sometimes acts like it's drunk. When you fall, air pushes back on you. It's called air resistance. Eventually, gravity and air resistance balance out, and you hit what's called terminal velocity, around 54 meters per second, or that moment when gravity goes, all right, that's fast enough, have fun dying. So could you survive that? Well, not unless you land on something that gives. Big sponge, net, snow... Or, I don't know, your gigantic pile of unfulfilled dreams. Theoretically, you could survive. Scientists have actually calculated survival odds for different fall heights. If you fall from, say, 10 feet, you're fine. A two-story building? Probably a hospital trip. From an airplane? You'll need a miracle, two physics degrees, and God's personal Wi-Fi password. But... Here's where it gets weird. Some people have fallen from ridiculous heights and lived. Because how you fall matters just as much as where you land. If you spread your body out like a starfish, you create more drag, meaning you fall slower. If you aim for snow, they absorb some impact. If you land on your feet, congratulations, you just invented new shapes for bones. And no... Tucking and rolling doesn't work from 10,000 feet. You can't just parkour your way out of gravity. Famous survivors of gravity being nice. There's Vesna Vulovic, a flight attendant who survived a fall from 33,000 feet after her plane exploded. How? She was trapped inside part of the fuselage that hit a snowy hill at just the right angle. That's not luck. That's the universe going, okay, fine, one free pass. Now let's talk about the man who looked at parachutes and said, nah, that's too mainstream. Luke Akins, professional skydiver. In 2016, he jumped from 25,000 feet without a parachute. No wingsuit, no any safety gear, no brain cells, probably some. But here's the twist. He planned the whole thing. His team built a giant net about the size of one-third of a football field, stretched 200 feet above the ground. He had to fall exactly into it, from 25,000 feet, while spinning through the air at terminal velocity. Miss the target by even a few meters? Game over. Land wrong? Still game over. Basically, it was like trying to throw yourself into a basketball hoop, and somehow he did it. He fell straight through the sky, arms and legs spread wide to control his speed, flipped at the last second, and landed perfectly in the center of the net. No broken bones, just pure adrenaline, and probably a lifetime supply of anxiety. When he landed, the crowd lost their minds. Luke smiled, waved, and probably thought, cool, now I can finally jump without a parachute on my resume. So, could you survive it? Short answer, no. Long answer, absolutely not, unless you're Luke Akins or blessed by plot armor. 
The only reason Luke lived was because everything, physics, timing, and engineering was perfect. Even being one second late could have changed the entire story. Here's the thing. Gravity doesn't hate you. It's just doing its job. You go up, you come down. That's the deal. But stories like these remind us that even the impossible can be engineered with science, math, and a little bit of insanity. Luke didn't survive because he was lucky. He survived because humans are the only species that look at death and go, bet I can make this interesting. So next time you drop your phone and panic, just remember somewhere out there, a guy once dropped himself from the sky and lived to tell the tale.